Sucks. I couldn't get in range. Oh my god, Skarner. Skarner with the biggest Skarner ult in the world. Oh my god. So, I don't know if you've uh, checked the uh, little post that I made, but we're going to be trying out my Nautilus build as much as possible today. So, this is the AP setup. Uh, this is the setup we're most likely going to use 90% of the time until Riot Games realizes that Heart Steel is an item that should be removed. We're just going to chill, hopefully, get some wins. And if not, then we're at least going to have a good time because it's really fun to play this. You know, I did say this whole challenge thing is I'm going to push through. I don't care how long it takes me but i'm gonna do it in a way that i want to do it like i'm not gonna play a broken champion just for the sake of a broken champion if i feature a broken champion in one of these streams or videos it's just because i enjoy that champion a lot and the laning phase plays basically the same as katarina <laughs> only difference is we're gonna be able to do stuff like that every time i have my w up we can just walk up to her and freely auto Remember, we have D-Shield and second wind, so we are going to be healing a lot. I think it's level 2, it's fine. i probably eat a Q. No, I was out of range. There we go. That's Shield Bash for you. This Sakali is not going to have a good time against me. <coughs> Got a Grass proc. Now, the importance is to not over push these trades. <coughs> So we are playing around my grasp constantly, making sure that we have vision, giving my jungler the full attention here. Hopefully Ringer doesn't just run around and still kill my Sedge there, that would suck. Oh, it's not just Sedge, or not just uh, Ringer. Okay, yeah, we have to. We can't get la let Ringer get this. I'm staying here. You stay away from my goddamn Sejuani Akali. Uh, I'll stay for another couple waves. Wait till the next cannon wave and then try. Nice. Sejuani gets all six, right? I'm gonna wait for me to see that. Ooh, I saw that missed ult. We can just chill here. Grasp back off before she can trade back. Ping missing, because I'm not really in a position where I can follow. Okay, Akali probably gets a kill here. Mm, maybe not. Wait, do I get plating? I get plating as a Nautilus mid. Are you kidding me? That's goaded. Dude comes to donate a free grass proc as well. I am just gonna recall here. I'm taking bad recall timers on purpose here because I'm pretty sure the Sakali is just going to end up throwing her little bit of a lead that she got. And we want to get hearts to ASAP here. Like, I don't really care about fundamentals right now. We're playing in silver, right? I'm just playing for items. I will adjust my playstyle as we climb the ranks. But right now, this is my playstyle. Just getting my items ASAP, no, like, no matter what. So Akali is missing once again. She's kind of just roaming whenever. I don't know if she's roaming or if she just recalled. Rengario Leviosa. There we go. That maybe has shown the strength of barrier. I meant to hit that wall. <laughs> I can't really move fast, guys. I don't have boots yet. Oh, that's a gr Oh, that is a dead ziggs. That is a, like, super dead ziggs. Nice. It's almost hard steel. I don't mind to flash for uh, guaranteed kills like that, by the way. Remember, my point is not to get fed myself. I will get fed because of the stacks that I'll be getting. Mm. I'm just gonna stay here, kind of make sure that Ringer can't really do too much. Oh, I got him. Ah, 
Ah, that sucks. But I do get hard steel and I can build into my merc treads here. I didn't even have items yet. And did you see how tanky I was? Like how much I could tank the turret enough for them to actually get a turret on bot lane and probably get an Akali kill here. Yep. Well, I'm not the one getting fed. I am the one making these plays happen. And the more the game goes on, because now I have heart steel, right? Remember what I discussed earlier. My plan now is to just skirmish. So I'm looking to shove the wave as fast as possible. Hence why after boots, I'm going for bamis. So I have a lot of wave clear. And then I'm looking to just be on as many fights as possible. So we are just going to go ahead and shove this as fast as humanly possible. Okay. So you see how afraid she is, right? Now you fucked up. That kills... Yep. Give me a heart steel stack and the Akali dies. I'm gonna move up here and catch the Ziggs. Definitely not alone. I'm gonna ult him in advance. I'm gonna walk up. Give him a big ass. Not even heart steel auto. Just passive shield bash. That wasn't even hard steel. That's the, the like the craziest bit to me. Ringard's here. Might still be in there. Oh, he's not. He actually moves. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard steal. No, never mind. He dies before. That's still fine that he dies. By the way, I just want to make that clear. Like the whole point of this is to obviously get strong but if they're already strong enough to kill without me having to like heart steel tank them i'm good bro i am great now this is going to get more and more complicated the higher we get in ranks but the lower ranks are going to be very easy games because while you're very tanky you can kind of just set up dives whenever you want and if you survive lane even towers don't really do too much anymore because you have a very high HP shield. By your like fourth item, you're going to have your W shield, your barrier shield, and your Fimble Winter shield, which is just nuts. Like, the amount of shields that you can get is insane. I can, I can even show you. This guy will not hurt me. See? I'm pretty sure I could actually have like not taken any damage without fucking my shield there. go in okay let's not go in Rengar is just like so low health all of the time I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck around with the Sakali they probably warded this I would imagine right okay so, Akali Flash. Pretty sure you die. Honk. <laughs> Time we level up Q seconds so our Q gets really low cooldown. Now, in some matchups, I will likely be running teleport, but that's only to match their split pushing. But Akali isn't really using her teleport for that, so I guess we're fine. We could recall and get bombies, or we can shove an extra wave. Since they are fighting there, I kind of just want to shove this extra wave in. Not gonna lie. Like, they're just... They're just destroying them. So, we don't do too much tower damage itself, so we are just going to back off here. Get our items. So, bombies is actually going to be built into Hollow Embrace. A uh, Hollow Radiance, this game. So... Because they have a lot of AP on their team. They didn't take another sip. <laughs> it's important to stay hydrated, guys. Don't forget that. It's cool to be a gamer, but be a healthy one, okay? Oh, no. Wait, what the fuck? It said Caitlyn disconnected, and then she's back. That's gonna be a hard steal. Honk. You're fast, dude. I'm I'm down to dive. If Aatrox wanted to dive that, I would be down. Is he gonna be dumb enough to do this? Oh. I couldn't even get my ult off. 
that is that's mean that is actually so mean you know this is really strong because my shield stacks with my health so the higher my heart steel, the higher my shields, the more my shields, the more damage I do because of shield bash, and you get the deal. Oh. Fuck. What were you thinking? Hello? I missed my... <laughs> it doesn't matter though, I missed my hook, but I'm... I just do so much damage now. <laughs> so we soon have hollow... Uh, radiance and after that point I do so much damage when they're around me but I'm still killable like I'm I'm far from the Nautilus God right for Nautilus God I need unending and then I need Fimble Winter then I'm really a god he just flashed away simply because I'm here <laughs> he just flashed away we're potentially in trouble here Rengar's looking I'm just going to have to make them very regretful of their decisions. Okay. No. I can't peel you more. Sorry. I think I win this though. Hey, he's going to ward hold. That's cool. Oh, you die? me avenge you i don't think i do enough tower damage no by no by no means do i do enough tower damage nope i cannot push this i'm just going to back off i am just gonna go back off a little bit further because they definitely have vision here uh zyra you should not don't run into a bush okay never mind he dies because your plants do aids amounts of damage now they actually have to be careful of me. I'm not just tanky. I'm also very like if I can get my heart steel uh, damage off, I do a lot of damage per heart steel proc, and that's only going to get worse and worse as the game goes on. This works because I can keep them in place long enough for my heart steel, and then I'm just the ultimate peel for my team because my shield, as I said, gets bigger and bigger. It's now a 602 health shield over eight seconds. Like every eight seconds, I have a guaranteed 600 HP shield. Well, you chose to ult the wrong dude, boy. Okay. I missed. Oh, no. Let me just eat that. Just, just in spite, you know? And when you can eat skill shots just in spite, knowing that the enemies can't really do too much to you, so you just eat shit in spite of their ability. We can passively build our unending. We're probably gonna have to get a fight here. I'm gonna have to hook the Jax the moment he goes in from here. Or not? Okay. And there we go. He. Yeah, okay. I was about to say he should die. Grab this. Okay. Then don't grab them, bro. Then, then I'll just grab them instead. You don't wanna be full health? Nice, Aatrox. All right. And that's a GG. So that was the first game on my main account of Nautilus Mid. Now, definitely for sure, my team was actually not bad this game. But the early roam that I did up the top lane and bot lane definitely did help both lanes out. And then I was just roaming with the jungler permanently looking for fights because I had heart steel. That's the whole strategy. More health means more shield. More shield means more damage and more survivability because of shield bash. If you don't know how shield bash works, by the way, I can show you here. Whenever you gain a new shield, your next basic attack against the champion deals 5 to 30 plus 2.5% bonus health plus 15% new shield amount bonus damage and I have up to two seconds after the shield expires to use the effect. Let's say I use my Nautilus shield. My shield runs out. I still have the active damage from shield bash. With the ranged matchups, I actually have to change my rune page. I have to change this one, and I have to change it to uh, this nullifying orb with uh, celerity. For the people that are new, because I see somebody who's in my stream, I am known a couple years back as a Nautilus one trick who hit challenger playing a really weird AP build. The items that made that work is not possible anymore, and Heartsteel is extremely broken on shield Nautilus right now. I call it shield magic. 
Master Nautilus. And it's very fitting because you have your Nautilus shield, you have Fimble Winter, and I run Barrier. So that's already three shields based off my own choice. Then obviously I also have the added chance that I have a teammate with a shield like a Lulu or Janna that could add another shield on top of that. And what makes it more broken in terms of damage is I'm running Heart Steel and Shield Bash. So Heart Steel is permanently stacking up my damage that I get from Shield Bash. So if I can get a lot of trades from Grasp, I actively get more survivability, more damage because of this rune, and I'm very survivable against Poke because I run D Shield and Second Wind. I guess we're gonna Q Heart Steel. Let's see what it does. I've never tried this feature before, so. You see, it's actually very deceiving how tanky he is at level one, because I'm running Barrier, which has 120 damage shield in level one. And then I have my W, which gives me 111, which kills with 8% up to 12% of my health. I'll be permanently stacking health because of Heart Steel, which also gives me 900 health base. You see the, uh, the like the, the idea of this build here? So he's ranged, so he will try and punish me a bit. I'm actually going to have to con uh, concede a little bit of CS here. Oh, he's running bone plating, so I'm just looking to get grass procs here. Yeah, the power of barrier Nautilus, bro. Like, nobody respects it. I'm not really planning to move too much in the early. I'm kind of just planning to get grass procs off because he looks like he's playing very aggressively. <laughs> nice. He dies. Gonna be very awkward to play this, but neither do they. They're very low, low health. I'm just gonna walk up very slowly. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll keep the wave here. I hoped I, I was hoping I could have helped my teammate there. Maybe I could have. I have a plan that I'm sticking to. And notice how it's already a 200 health shield now. This is going to get to like 700, 800 by the time we're done. Now I have red buffs. So I'm looking to trade as much as I can here. He's just choosing to die. Mm. Minions came in clutch. And then he ints. Yeah, I... <laughs> I sometimes feel sorry for these people, but only reason you're playing him is because he's broken. I have zero guilt for screwing over a rise. You know what's very funny? I'm actually going to have to build a Thor mill this game. Last item, probably, because of the Nessus. <laughs> I did not expect to have to build a thorn mail, bro. Ooh, I nearly hit him through the minions there. See that? He's gonna try and poke me here. I'm just gonna walk up all menacingly. What is he gonna do? I have boots. I missed a lot of mi like CS there. That's fine, bro. Like, I'm fucking him up. Yeah, try me. Try me, dude. Literally, try me. Try something. I have ult coming up and I have a jungler that's thirsty for your ass. God, that's not hard steel. It's almost hard steel, though. I have no mana. I would love to follow you on that roam, but I do not actually have mana. Oh, that sucks. It's actually a double kill for them. The fact Varus lives. Wait, they might try. They do. Varus dies. Never mind. Varus running barrier. All right. Where am I? I'm here. Nah, they're gonna back off. Okay. 
they're right there the nidalee is right there that's just auto going to push that wave we have grasp we have slow coming up passive another slow and shield bash so let's look at their team so this is bad news for me Varus is getting fed and anasis is getting fed two champions that are going to be really hard for me to deal with Varus mainly because of bork Nasus just because he's gonna get very tanky so boots i'm gonna get are uh, plated steel caps this game we have hard steel dude you're gonna have to start respecting me soon buddy buddy boy i don't care about your poke bro i literally could give less of a fuck let's test if they're paying attention guys they are they are that sucks I walked over a ward somewhere. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so Varus counters me. I did not know. Hard game. I'm actually going to have to carry this as Nautilus mid. Imagine that one. My team is feeding everywhere. Problem is also the Tarek. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, yeah, you killed him. It's good. Looks that Seraphine stole the shutdown. That is actually so troll from you. Tempted to re, uh, to report the Seraphine because we need a Lowey on shutdowns right now, not Seraphine. Genuinely though, Sarah just trolled us by taking that. That's fucking. I'm like fully agreeing with the Salawi, bro. The Seraphine trolled us so hard because she's not gonna build anything useful with that. Yeah, you're not gonna run away. You're gonna f uh, feed me a lot of stacks here. That doesn't do anything. I just. I still run you down. Um. Why is Ryze allowed to do this, guys? Hello? No? You're not gonna be doing that. You can't move. You actually can't move against us. That's so, so sad. Okay, nice. So we have Sunfire. Uh, my shield is getting up there. I'm gonna go unending now, because I just need to be really tanky here, I think. Because Fimble Winter is going to take too long. If I can recall and get a tier and get most of this, I will. But if not, I'm gonna prioritize unending. Yeah, that sucks. I couldn't get in range. Oh my god, Skarner. Skarner with the biggest Skarner ult in the world. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, bro. I can't get my fucking stack off. I think we just lose here. That's actually so sad, though. We could have easily won that. But, like, games like those are really demotivating to me. I, I gave so much of myself to win that. And one teammate is enough to just ruin it all. Like, isn't, isn't that just depressing to look at? I guess it makes sense, though. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and try and, like, say that I'm the best. But, like, if the ADC does 9,000 damage in a... How long was that game? 25 minutes minute game I'm, I'm i don't want to be toxic chief but I'm, I'm pretty sure they were inting we are exactly back where we started love to see it